an NBC News story with John Fetterman that predominantly focused on the stroke survivor's health is drawing sharp criticism over how it described the reporter's interview with a Pennsylvania Senate candidate. While the full conversation covered a sweep of issues, from abortion rights to crime to inflation, the story was largely framed around Fetterman's health issues since his May 13 stroke. Fetterman has been dealing with auditory processing and word retrieval issues since his stroke and has been open about how he uses closed captions to ensure he understands questions in interviews. In its Tuesday night story, NBC News alleged the lieutenant governor still struggles to understand what he hears and to speak clearly despite later noting that Fetterman only occasionally stuttered during the interview, which was filmed with reporter Dasha Burns at Fetterman's home on Friday. Auditory processing isn't an issue with hearing, but the way the brain processes words. That auditory processing, where I'll hear someone speaking, but sometimes, I won't be precise on what exactly they're saying, I use captioning, Fetterman told Burns. Read more, what we've learned from a year. At the rallies, he speaks without a teleprompter, and has taken to preempting criticisms about verbal stumbles by telling the audience he knows his opponent, Republican Mehmet Oz, hopes to use those gaps against him. I guarantee it, there's at least one person here filming me, hoping to catch me. While it's clear he struggles to get some words out, his stump speeches have seemed more fluid since August when he first returned to the trail. At smaller events, like a gathering in southwest Philadelphia on Monday, Fetterman took pictures and shook hands with attendees and then spoke in front of a group packed into a crowded, noisy restaurant. He didn't take any questions from a reporter there. While NBC News billed its sit-down as an exclusive, Fetterman has done a number of interviews with media outlets since his return to the campaign trail but this is the first to focus heavily on his speech issues. Other journalists who have interviewed Fetterman have criticized the story, noting that he had no comprehensive problems or significant speaking issues. In the NBC interview, Fetterman emphasized that he is on the road to a full recovery, saying his health would not impact his ability to serve in the Senate.